Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Knife Legion. Let's play some more World of Tanks in the Electo Tank Destroyer. This is an encounters battle on the Red Shire map. And yeah, I haven't played for a while actually, so I'm going to be really rusty. But we'll see how we go. go. Ooh, there's a big tank. Don't turn and hit me. Uh, you're going to ram me in the butt, aren't you? Please don't. I'm trying to get you ready, Stug 3G, but you're trying to ram me up the butt. Let's see. I'm in a tank destroyer. That means I want to go on the high ground where everything can see me and shoot me. It looks like most of the other tank destroyers have the same idea here. Well, we've got a cruiser 4 with us. If they could spot something with their optics. There's a Crusader and a Marder 38T on my right. Which I suppose is going to be the safer angle to try and approach this. We've already got an enemy vehicle up close. BT-7. Cru cruiser 4 is in getting shot already. Hmm, this isn't looking good. Okay, I'm trying to find a good angle to engage. It's not really happening. A lot of my team is nowhere near where they need to be to win this map. To win this battle. I don't really want to push in myself. Yep, we can't see the enemy, but the enemy can see us. That's uh, somewhat alarming. BT-7 there, that Cruiser 4 is down to 14% health. There's a lot of my team who just aren't near enough to support us here. And if we lose the base, it's going to end badly. Oh, that kind of hurt. Stug 3 next to me is getting shot at. There's heavy fighting going on on my left, but it's mostly just tying up people. You really should be here helping us. Yeah. We haven't actually lost anyone yet. That's actually kind of impressive. Ooh, there's an M3 Stuart on my right flank. I don't like that. We've spotted a Churchill. There's a Crusader. Let's see if I can get an angle on some of these guys. Very long aiming time with the gun I've got fitted at the moment. Whoa. Okay, we're pulling back a bit. We're pulling back a bit. Because shit is exploding all over the place. Okay, that B1. No, let's not go that way. Got to try and stay in cover. There's a Lux down there. He could ruin my day. Lucky hit there. Lucky, lucky hit. Okay, B B1 versus a Matilda. There's a KV one out there somewhere. Holy crap! And we got destroyed instantly by a shot from a Stug 3G that I couldn't even see. That was a quick game, but that might be one of the best shots I've ever made. Be interested to see if I bother putting this up on YouTube or not. Why wow, that B1 is having a bad day. Stug 3G and a KV1 on top of him. We can get in, but no, the camera wants to go the other way. There we go. He's surviving, okay, getting rammed by the Stug 3G there. And yeah, he's been taken out. My team is down 4 9. The enemy's just pushed the center quite well here. Um, my teammates, for some reason, appear to be at the enemy spawn. And that's not very helpful. We didn't have the strength of forces in the center to really do this. Now they're just going to pick us off one by one. Kind of looks like they're trying to either capture the enemy spawn, which obviously isn't what happens on this map mode, or they're hunting for enemy artillery, and there isn't any. So I'm not really sure what their plan was when they went down that flank. Yeah, we've got a KV-1 that's kind of just sitting there. Now, they may give up on the base capture. They may not cap, considering it's so much in their favour, and they may try and force a fight out of this. I'm trying to find someone who's on the front line. Got some people who look to be AFK at the back. Here's a KV-1 moving up. There's a badly damaged AT-2 above him, though. AT-2 will give even a KV-1 pause for four. And now they are sweeping in. Ooh, tree falling over there. There's a Churchill one. Yeah, got a 
pretty good shot there. That KV-1, not sure where he was trying to fire his gun. Crusader's coming around the rear. Not sure if Crusader's going to be able to do much. Yeah, that Crusader's going to have a bad day. His small gun is not going to do much to uh, penetrate this. Get going. AT-2 is trying. Stuck 3G and a cr number Crusader all engaging this KV-1, which is tanking a lot of firepower. That's the second tank they've taken out. Are they going to get the AT-2 as well? Yeah, they are. Wow, they are now surrounded by burning wrecks. I mean, just look at that. That's ridiculous. This is a pretty good example of how not to handle a KV-1. That's four kills. And he's just taken off 44% of that Crusader's health. Now, he might actually be wedged in there. I think all those wrecks are, have pinned him in place. There's a Coventer on the other side of the rock who's just f too scared to move. Don't say I blame him after that. Um, example. But they are still capping. Ooh, Matilda rolling up and getting taken out for its trouble. KV-1 is now freeing himself from that clusterfuck. I like how he handled that. He said calm and cool under pressure. Took out four enemy tanks while they just bounced shells off him. Now, we are leading 11-10. But if no one gets into the cap circle within a couple of seconds, this isn't going to end well for us. This is going to be a defeat. Okay, you've got to put a round into the M3... Ooh, not the M3 Lee. Okay, yeah, that's actually really good. He's reset most of the cap points now. That Coventer's trying, but taking fire in return. Ooh, and that Coventer is destroyed. There they go. There's still someone with some capture points in the circle, though. And finally, this KV-1 has some support. He's now taken out six tanks. And another KV-1 coming up to support him. They've spotted a Crusader on the far side. He's being engaged by the uh, thing I can't pronounce. Wow. So the only tank left on the enemy team is the BT-7 ART that I think we saw at the very start of the match. And somehow is still alive. The fact we are going to get a victory out of this is just entirely thanks to this KV-1. What an amazing display. They've got seven kills now. I mean, we did fairly well with one lucky shot that took most of the health off of looks, but this KV-1 is the man of the hour. Unfortunately, this BT-7 is apparently hiding somewhere. He uh, is clearly upset with how things have gone, and he's fled. Possibly he's going to try and make this actually run down the clock, which is a bit of a shame. I mean, he's got no chance of winning at this point. But he's just run off and hidden himself to force this battle to continue. Maybe he's hoping he could get one kill before going being taken out. Maybe he's hoping he can sneak in, destroy some people, but it doesn't look to be happening. We have got teammates in the base capturing now. So it's going to be down to the base capture at this point. If he doesn't want to engage, you're going to be very lucky to find a fast, light tank like the BT-7. Yeah, he's just run away. Which is a bit annoying. I wouldn't like it if I was on if I was still alive and we were just futilely hunting for the last remaining enemy vehicle. So I think yeah, what they're doing now, everyone moving into the cap circle so they can bring this to a close. Ooh Ooh, they have spotted him. Could the K V one get another kill? That would give him eight kills and a medal. That would be an amazing game for him. No, he's He's just fleeing around the edge of the map. Not quite sure what he's thinking. But this is going to be over very quickly. 
So I think I'm definitely going to put this up on YouTube. My contribution to the match may not have been much, but that KV1, what a fantastic match for him. Although it looked terrible, the KV1 just managed to tank all those shots, pun intended, and uh, yeah, basically win us the match. Man of the hour there. Man of the hour. And here we go. Base capture. That's a victory for us. So what did we get out of that ourselves? Well, we got... Not terrible. Ooh, and... Can I actually complete something? Yep, yeah, okay, I completed a couple of things there. Nice. Happy enough with that. Well, let's take a look at the team scores. And there we go. That KV1 doing 2,411 points of damage, getting 1,500 experience for 7 kills. Picked up Cool Headed, Steel Wall, and the Top Gun Awards. What a fantastic match for that guy. Props to him for having a really good game. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Uh, do leave a like, leave a comment, feel free to subscribe, and hopefully I will see you later. Bye!